What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. In my hands is an iPad, jailbroken, of course, running also to 1.1. And of course, also to 1.1, as we reported earlier, now features compatibility with the iPad as well as the iPhone. So you get all that great functionality. You can have your hot corners to close out of apps just like that. You also have your multi-center so you can access your control center, all your applications right from the same interface. Um, you also have something that's really cool that I like to, to uh, advertise. And one of my favorite features of OXO2, you have your quick launcher, which, well, I didn't do it right there. Let me try it again. Let's go back out to the home screen and swipe up from the left hand corner and there you go there's your quick launcher so you can quickly navigate through all your your running apps all your open apps just like that quickly switch to them don't even have to lift your finger off the screen you easily switch to them it's like command tab uh, for the ipad basically uh, command tab on the mac obviously it allows you to quickly switch between apps this is like that equivalent except there's obviously no keyboard involved you just swipe up from the left hand corner and then swipe left or right to switch apps. So again, this is the multi-center. Again, it has all of your control center functionality baked right in to your app switcher. So that makes it really convenient. You can access everything in one little area and there are no buttons or anything at the top because everything is contained within your app switcher and the bottom control center. You have all your buttons because you have the screen real estate to play with. You don't have to cram everything in there um, like on the iPhone version. And for that reason, I really think also too, is perfectly suited for the iPad just because you have this space to play with. You don't feel like everything's crammed into one little nook. Uh, you have everything to play with and it's easily accessible. You don't feel claustrophobic. Not to say that the iPhone version was like hard to use or anything like that, but it just feels more open. You feel more relaxed when using OXO2 on the iPad. And here in the settings, you'll notice a lot of the settings are missing from the iPad version of OXO2 because you just don't need them because a lot of those settings in the iPhone version pertain to like squeezing everything in to fit that smaller real estate. So version 1.1 of OXO2 is now available. Again, the price is $399. It works on both the iPhone and the iPad. You can download it today. Let me know what you guys think about OXO2 1.1 down in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.